What if a needle hit Earth at the speed of light? Imagine something small, something ordinary, something you wouldn't even notice if it fell on the floor. A sewing needle. Now, take that same needle and launch it into space. Push it faster and faster until it's travelling at almost the speed of light. At that speed, this tiny, harmless object is no longer just a piece of metal. It's a weapon of unimaginable power, and its target is Earth. From orbit, our world looks peaceful. Blue oceans, white clouds, billions of lives going about their day, unaware of what's racing toward them. The needle tears through space like a beam of energy, glowing, unstoppable. Then it slams into Earth's atmosphere. In an instant, the sky ignites. The needle burns like a comet, racked in plasma hotter than the surface of the sun. And then comes impact. One possibility is total devastation. The energy released is equal to multiple nuclear bombs. A single strike, wiping entire cities off the map, carving out a crater of molten fire. Shockwaves rip through the ground, flattening everything in their path. But that's only one scenario. There's another. What if the needle doesn't explode on impact? What if it punches straight through Earth's crust? The result would be even more terrifying. The needle would create a blazing tunnel, filling with superheated plasma and magma. The ground would tear open, firestorms would spread, the planet itself would begin to bleed heat and destruction. And then there's a third possibility. The needle doesn't stop at all. It slices clean through Earth, entering one side and blasting out the other. From space, the planet is left scarred with two glowing wounds, one where it entered, one where it escaped. Three different outcomes, each one catastrophic. Think about it. A sewing needle, no larger than your finger, carrying more power than the most powerful weapon humanity has ever built, the Tsar bomb, the most destructive force we've ever unleashed, pales in comparison to this single object travelling at relativistic speed. The skies would turn red. Oceans could boil. Civilization could crumble. And all of it caused by something so small you could lose it in your pocket. If anyone survived, they would stand in the ruins, staring at the glowing trail in the heavens, asking themselves one question. How could something so tiny end so much? In the end, the Earth might survive, but it would never be the same. Because when you approach the speed of light, even the smallest object can carry the power to destroy worlds.